It is time to present our tag team action for the month of September as we are coming to you live from Boston, Massachusetts as the start of the autumn season right here on week 16 of Channel Racing 2015. And here is host, Benny to kick off the autumn season and always teaming up with his fellow panel partners is the host of Channel Racing 2015, Brandon Shanks! Hello Boston, how are you doing? Good, are you ready for some tag team action? I hope so! And hello to you fans at home. Welcome to Channel Racing 2015, live from Boston, Massachusetts. This is week 16. And this week we have our September Tag Team Action. Your favorite superstars will be teaming up again in the, the continuation of their hunt for the 2016 Tag Team title in February. So Paul, why don't we say we, we begin our Tag Team Action for this week. That's right, let's head straight over to our first race of the night. Okay, so our first Tag Team race of the night will feature Sam Jenis and Ricardo Kamen taking on Lance Henderson and Gary Coles. The first couple of races will feature superstars who still need the first win of the season, and we'll find out which teams will get that win right now. As always, the races will be held on our favorite course, the Emerald Course, a classic. So good luck to these two teams on the quest for victory, and let's rock this place! Alright, all the money! We're on the way with our Week 16 Tire Team Magic for the month of September, and there goes the chow approaching the palm trees. They're gonna shake the food. Which team will have the upper hand here? It looks like Gary Coles will be leading, followed by in cross second by Sam Jitters. And it looks like these chow will be heading for the water as the first superstar against people that's on this week's basis is number two. And he got all of it on that one. Great speeders. Right now it is numbers one and eight battling for two life as they both head for the water. And who got speed bus number two? It's Sam Jenners. That's who. Coming since in third place. Right now it is Lance Henderson who has the lead with his partner Gary Coles in an easy second place. As the next speed bus we may buy, the Mexican Ricardo Kamen coming since in fourth place. As we pass the one minute mark, with numbers one seven are battling for deal line. As Sam Jenners gets the number turn, running for the checker path. Right now, guess who's left behind in the crowd? It's number two, that's who. Number eight is currently leaving the four silver chow. As he will get the next speed bus, and he easily holds on numbers one, two, and seven in a hurry. Numbers one and two are battling for survival, folks. One of them's gonna be left behind. Who will gain the upper hand? It's number two. Number two got the next speed bus. And now he's battling with numbers one and seven for two life in a freeway battle for survival. At back of the front, Lance Henderson has his face all wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen, as Sam just will get a first speed bus that will wind up in third place. But Carl Kamen looks like he's a little disappointed today. As number seven takes the next speed bus, still trying to survive, you can tell you one point for Lance Henderson and Gary Coles. They team up right there. As number eight will wrap up the speed bus for the race. So Lance and the and Gary Coles finally get the first win of their tag team career. That's my Paul, and we'll be right back with more. Stay tuned, the fun is just getting started. Okay, we're back with race number two. Who do we have this time, Paul? Race number two will feature two more teams who have an over three record. It's Ben Henderson and Jason Fowles versus Benny Moen and Willingson. So let's see who will get this first win of the tag team season. Best of luck to these both teams. Everyone is on a clock. And please start the base. Here we go. And it looks like Jason Fowles and Benny Moore are going west. So let's watch Ben Henderson and Willingson. These two child will be fighting for an lead at the current moment. Right now the four child are closing on each other. And Ben Henderson is gone, and it looks like he will have the advantage because Willingson is dancing. So Ben Henderson will have command on the lead, as number one wins the opening toss for this race, and he easily passes Ben Moon, Benny Ben Henderson for first place. And guess who's way behind is Jason Fowles as he heads for the water. And who will get speed bus number two of this race? 
It's going to be made by Lucky7, that's who. And now he's going to fight Ben Henderson for the league, ladies and gentlemen. Right now it is Benny Moen, Will Inkson, and number two is getting left behind the crowd. As the next big wrestling will be made by number eight, who is in an easy fifth place. Benny Moen and Will Inkson are getting left behind. They don't want to lose to Ben Henderson and Jason Fowles. But it looks like the, ne the next bill is being made by Benny Moen. But I don't think that's going to be enough to stay in the game. Ben Henderson has a humongous lead on the ground. And look at that. He gets the next speed bus. He's leaving everyone in the dust. He's going to get an easy win tonight. Will Inkson pass for one. His team is way behind. They need to get a couple speed bus to get it back in this one. But once again, this race is all about Ben Henderson. As he gets back-to-back -back speed bus and he takes a humongous swing, it's now even bigger. And it looks like just fast one mess, but he's still going to get an easy win because Ben Henderson is gone, ladies and gentlemen. As the next speed bus we made by number two, who is battling with James Powers for second place. And you can tell you have a point for Ben Henderson and James Powers. They are the winners of this week's races. Race number two. And it's willing to a little disappointed there against the next speed bus. And who will get the next one? It's number two. That's the second speed bus for the race. It will wind up in second place. And it looks like we have just enough time for one more speed bus. And it will be made by number eight, who wants the second place. And Willingson is singing the last place booze, ladies and gentlemen. He is all alone in the pack as he disappointed with a last place finish. So Ben Henderson, Jason Fowles got the first win of the season, my Brandon. That's why I knew Ben Henderson would dominate the whole crowd every now and then. Coming up, we have more exciting tag team action for you, but first have a look at this. Alright, let's simple on this one up with base number three, Paul. That's right, the license of the destiny, Alvin Heaton and OG Upton take on the Dewey by Policeman, the Crime Master Rusty Williamson, and Steven Robinson. Both teams are 0 and 3 so far, so let's see who will get the first win of the season for this portion of the show. Good luck to both teams on the Christmas victory. So without further ado, let's have a challenge! And off! And there goes Steven Robinson busting down the aisles. I think he's gonna get his fourth straight win for his 2015 season. And his first win for his team. And there he goes! He ate the fruit and now he's off and running again. Can Alvin Heaton or OG Upton somehow make a miracle combat? We'll be too late. We'll find out soon enough as the first superstar gets beat but it's number one. That's the second we get up. That's the second base in a row. He got in the opening toss and he scored the rest. Number seven is getting left behind. He is going to take the water. As Beaver's number two, we may buy the crime master, Rusty Williamson. He sits in an easy second place. His partner Steven Robinson is in the lead, ladies and gentlemen. Right now it is the Alvin Eden who needs some help and he's going right. So he's going to be left behind the crowd as the next move is going made by number two, who is, part, who is trying to battle on numbers one and eight for survival in a three way battle for fifth place. Right now Steven Robinson has a huge lead with his partner Rusty Williamson not too far behind. As number seven gets the next Beavis, trying to defend over the free throw jump and Alvin Heenan. Alvin Heenan will be a miracle to get all the way back to the lead, but I don't think that's going to happen. Well, he's going to need a couple of speed bus to get back in this one. This is the first of them. Oh, he barely stayed in the last place that time, but I'm sure he got all of it on that one. But, but right now, it is sayonara to the crowd for Steven Robinson. As number one gets to number ten, and he got all of it on that one. And it looks like OJ Upton is going to rest. That means Rusty Williamson will have a humongous lead as OJ Upton gets to number ten. It looks like he won't be able to catch up to the do it by policeman in time. Steven Robinson gets his fourth straight win, and Rusty Williamson gets his first win after 16 weeks. And the do it by policeman finally gets the first win in that tag team play. What a deal! Congratulations to these two players on a job well done. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus. It will be made by number two, the one in third place. So the Do It Right Policeman has done it! Steve Wigman, Steven Robinson got his fourth streak win, and Rusty Williamson finally got his best win of the season. That's right, and we'll have some more exciting action for you after this, so don't go away. 
that now we have yet two more teams who are on free right now. Who do we have for then? Well, race number four we have Devil Mayhem. That is Ben Son Jester and Luke Green as they take on the Jar Jar Slime Master Bill Fortin and two time finalist Ben Stason. Let's see who's gonna win the, the race tonight. Here we go! Please start the race! And there goes the job going busting wow down the aisles. Who's gonna come on my top? We'll find out soon enough. The first obstacle like we always start with is the palm trees. And there goes the fruit. They're gonna eat the fruit. Ooh, boy, I command. It looks like Luke Green is dancing. And it looks like Bill Fortin and Ben Sanchester and Bill Fortin is going rest. That means Ben Sanchester will have command on the lead for Devil Mayhem. As number seven, Lucky Seven, wins the winning toss this time around. And it looks like number eight is going rest. And there goes number two, busting down the line. He is in the water, folks. As the next B rest we may buy, number eight was going to rest, but he woke up in a while. But he's still in last place in the current one. And look at this. Blue Green has took a shortcut. That should be, that should lead up to an easy win for Devil May have, don't you think? Anyway, as we push a more minute mark, the next person we may buy, Vince Stacey. And it looks like Bill Porter is in second place. Ben Sanchez is going to sell away an easy bid rate. As he will get the next Beavers. He's going to sell away an easy bid rate there. Right now, it is numbers 1 and 8 who are getting left beyond the ground. Number 2 seems like he's leading over the force that we're at the current moment. And down goes number 1. But he gets his Beavers. And now he's catching up to number 7 and 2 in a hurry. Meanwhile, back up in front, Blue Green is almost at the goal line. I think he's going to easily hold off the others for the bench rate. Bill Fortin with the next command speed bus, assisting Ben Stacey in second and third place. And it looks like Ben Sanchester is going to sell and win any, any minute now. As Ben Stacey takes another turn, the Devil Mayhem has done it again. The Devil Mayhem gets the first tag team win. Unbelievable effort. We're going to the first place, so the Devil Mayhem has beaten Bill Fortin and Ben Stacey. Great race by Devil Mayhem. And number seven can't forget about being tailgate by the other three still a job as he takes the last speed buzz of the race. So Devil Mayhem has done it. They got the win this time. Huh, Brandon? That's right, and we'll have more sign action for you after this. We have the Jersey Devil John Stevenson coming up. Do not go away. Okay, who do we have for race number five, Paul? For well, race number five, we'll feature the Jersey Devil John Stevenson and Danielle Heenan, son of the license to drive Alan Heenan. Tonight, they'll be taking on Frank Bernardo and Kyle Richman. It's best of luck to these two teams on the quest for victory as we head down to the field. The players are lined up and ready to go. Everyone is on clock. And let's rock this place! Alright, they're on the way. Which team will win the race? We'll find out soon enough. Right now, these two teams are pushing to the limits as they head to the first obstacle of the course, the palm trees. And now they're going to eat fruit. Looks like John Stevenson is dancing, and so is Kyle Richmond. So, so it will be Daniel Heenan and Kyle Richmond as the first superstar gets beat. But it's number two. He's going to take the bridges. And guess who's way behind the competition right now? It's number seven, that's who. As number one will have the next command speed bus. But trying to hold on number seven for a deal life. And it looks like John Stevenson has took a shortcut. So I think he's gonna win this one with Danielle Heaton. As the next speed bus movie made by Frank Fanato, who is catching up to Danielle Heaton in a hurry. Kyle Richman is A OK at the current moment. And as we push one minute mark, who got the next speed bus? It's number eight, that's who. Try to defend number one for six plays. Point number seven is getting left behind. He needs a couple of speedos to get back in this one. And he gets some help. Trying to stay alive in the game. And back up in front, John Stevenson is climbing up the wall. He should have an easy victory, don't you think? As we head back in two, number seven. Again, he is trying to catch up and down he goes. Meanwhile, it is Daniel Heenan and Frank Fanato who is fighting for dear life. And for a third time in a row, number seven is looking to stay alive. As John Stevenson wakes up for his best, 
Thus, he retains a humongous lead. As number two will get the next command on speed bus, trying to hold up the other three silver child and Kyle Richman in a hurry. And we have a couple of child going fast as the next speed bus we may buy. Number one, he leaves number seven in the dust. And you can tell me up a point for John Stevenson and Danielle Heater. Unbelievable effort. They got the win on their own mind. And it looks like number one expected to close this one off with back to back speed bus as number seven continues to sing the last place blues. So it is John Stevenson and Darren Yohina got the win. That's right, and we'll be halfway there with number six after the break. Do not go away! So, Paul, we're almost at halftime. That's right, but before we get to our halftime break, Let's have race number six of our tag team matchup for this week, featuring Polar Type James Wilson, the talented scientist Peter Stockhouse, taking on Carl Tanner and Alex Carmen. It's good luck to these two teams on the quest for victory, and let's rock this place! Alright, which team will win this time? We'll find out soon enough. Here comes the teams busting down the line, they're pushing the boundaries, that's what we always start with. And it looks like James Wilson is pausing for a moment, and Carl Tanner is going to mess. So that will be Peter Stockhouse and Alex Cartman command of the upper hand. And it looks like both of them are dancing. That means James Wilson and Carl Town should be back in this one. And yes indeed, they're all back in the game. As the first Super Saiyan against Beat Plus is number two. As he catches up with the rest of the child. Right now it's a three-way battle for survival between numbers one, seven, and eight. Who will get the next P-Bus? It's number 8 of the 3, that's who. So now he will have a command of 6 points. Right now, numbers 1 and 7 are battling for 2 life. Number 7 parts for more as the next P-Bus will be made by number 1. So he will leave number 7 in the dust. And it looks like Carl Tanner seems like he took a shortcut. I think he is going to win this one. As we head back into number 1. As trying to hold off number 8 for 6 points. And number one pauses pause for one point. And now number eight pauses for one. So now it's a three way battle for survival again. But who really got the next speed bus? It is Alex Cartman, that's who. And back in the front, his partner Carl Tanner is having a great time with a big green. I think his team's gonna win this one. As we approach 130, the next speed bus we may buy, number eight. And he's trying to hold on numbers one and seven for two life. And down goes number one. That's going to cost some serious points. And it's back to Alex Cartman trying to hold off. And it looks like James will support the rest. That will give Alex Cartman command I'm moving up to do. As Carl Tanner wins this one for his team. So Al Carl Tanner, Alex Cartman, all you winners. As Alex Cartman gets back to back speed bus. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus. Who's going to get the last one? It will be made by number 8. He easily holds on numbers 1 and 7 in a hurry. So Carl Tanner and Alex Carter are your winners as we approach halftime. That's right, we're, we're all coming back for more fun games second half, but first we have some work at this sponsor. So, we like to thank Samsung for giving away a new Plasma HD TV to one lucky viewer. Congratulations to that lucky viewer from all of us who are on channel racing and our partner Samsung. And now for race number seven, Paul. That's why it will feature Jason here and Nick Gimmick, which were the 2014 Tag Team Champions, taking on scholarship buddies. That is Casey Raymondson and the 2015 Senior Class rookie Larry Monroe. Good luck to these both teams, and please start the base. Here we go. Let's see who will be the lucky ones tonight for base number seven. Right now, they're shaking food for the palm trees. They're going to do it right now. Which team will have command? We'll find out soon enough. Right now, they're going to eat the food. And there goes Casey Raymondson, busting down the line. He has to eat over, over the full eight chow. As the first superstar gets beat by us on the second half, it's his partner, Larry Mumbo. And guess what, fans? Jason Neal has took a shortcut. So now he is in the lead. He should have a big lead on right now. He has the advantage right now. As number two will have Speedbus number two of this race. And poor number seven is getting left behind. Number seven is always left behind. I don't think he'll get Speedbus every now and then. Back to number two. Who will move up one place because Nick Gimmick is going to mess. So now he is in fourth place. Meanwhile, Jason Eel continues to dominate as he has for the wall. 
I think he'll make it to the top easily. And number one will get the next turn. And he was able to defend seventh place from number seven. Right now, it is the Scarlet Buddies, Casey McMillanson, and Larry Monroe, neck to neck. And number seven gets some help. So now he moves up to seventh place. But it looks like Jason Hughes going to sell by an easy victory, along with Nick Gimmick. And it is Nick Gimmick who gets the next B-Bus. I think he's going to be pretty happy with the result. Casey Mimosen won't catch up to him in time. Jason, you and Nick Gimmick are your winners. As Roy Mungo, a little disappointed, takes the next B-Bus. Nick Gimmick can tell away because Jason here wins. So he, so now it's their two and two in their format so far. As number seven gets a number turn. And now number one is getting all in one's place. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus on the base. It will be made by Nick Gimmick. He's pretty happy tonight because he won. Jason here and Nick Gimmick sell by an easy victory. That's my Paul. And we are back with a rematch of Tag Team Championship featuring the Dates Brothers and the Mill Traders. Stay tuned. Hmm, if I remember correctly, this next race will feature Tommy and Kenny Days and Howard and Dave Miller, am I correct? You are 100% correct! It's the Days Brothers versus the Miller Traders! So it's another rematch from last year's Tag Team Championship. Last time it was the Days Brothers who got the victory in round one, so let's see who will win round two of this series. Good luck to these two teams on a quest for victory. Everyone is on a clock. And let's rock this place! Alright! So we have a second rematch coming up after the day's boys crush them on the first rematch. Let's see what happens here. The both teams are shaking the food, and they're gonna eat the food, and it looks like the middle trainers are dancing. And there goes the day's bubbles! They should be, they should have an easy advantage. And it looks like they're both heading for the water as the first superstar gets speed bus is number eight. He's gonna take the bridges. And Howard and Dame Miller and the Miller Trans are also taking the water. And so is number one. Who got speed bus number two? It's gonna be Tommy Days. That's who. And now he's catching up to his partner, Kenny Days. Dave Miller wants to make a miracle pass. And it looks like number seven and eight passes from one. So now number two will move up a couple places. As the next few we may buy. How many of the middle traders? As we approach the one minute mark, trying to go on numbers two, seven, and eight for fifth place. Right now, Kenny Days is in the way with his partner right on his tail. But they got company because Dave Miller is that way catching up to him and he's going rest. As the next few we may buy, number two, who easily holds up How Miller for fifth place. Right now, number 7 and 8 are battling for dear life. One of us is going to be left behind. It's going to be number 7 who gets the next B-Bus. So, number 8 will be left behind in the crowd. And back in the front, Tommy Nays has the lead. With Dave Miller right on his tail catching up. As his partner, Howard Miller, gets another turn. And number 8 continues to sing the last place blues. And number 1 can't forget about going west. Here goes the next B-Bus. And now it's catching up to both the Days Brothers and Dave Miller on the Miller Traders. Who got the next few buses? Kenny Days. And I think he's going to make the pass from Dave Miller. Unbelievable effort. He made a pass from Dave Miller. And it looks like the Days Brothers are going to win it. They beat the Miller Traders once again. That, wow, that was some rematch. Well, anyway, number seven will cross out the speed bus for race. I can't believe the Days Brothers won at the very last second. That was a great effort by both teams. Well done. Congratulations to the Days Brothers on another job. Well done. Coming up, the Hip Hop Trees take on Eric Crosby and our homes, but first, have a look at this. And welcome back to John Racing. We still have a little ways to go before we get to our main event. So, Paul, who do we have for our next race? Well, this race, which is race number nine, we will feature a hip hop dudes, Derek to play and Joe Raffley, as they take on Eric Crosby and Alan Holmes. Both of these teams are doing pretty good. Let's see which one of them will keep up with the pace. Good luck to both teams on a quest for victory, and let's rock this place. They're all for money, and it looks like Derek to play is going to rest. Now give. 
the others command I'm moving up to do. And it looks like I don't know, let's pause this one more. And it looks like Eric Cross me is dancing. And someone yells in the pack. As the first superstar gets beat first is Derek to play that's who. And look at that, he took command of the lead. Can he hold on to the lead? We'll find out soon enough. And it looks like Alan Holmes is heading for the water as the next big person we may buy. Number seven, he's also heading for the water. Right now, point number eight is getting left behind in the crowd. I don't think he'll get any speed bus. I mean, now and then. Who got the next speed bus? It's number one, that's who. Trying to hold on number two. And he taunts one more. Thus, he retained seventh place. And back up in front, as we push the one minute mark, it looks like Eric Crosby has the lead with his partner, Aaron Holmes, right on his tail in second place. As Joe Rafferty will have the next command speed bus trying to catch up with the pack. And right now, point number eight is still way behind. But who really got the next speed bus? It's number one. That's his second speed bus on the race. Point number eight still near on help. And I mean now. And it looks like number eight is getting left. Number eight toss one more as the next speed bus we may buy. Number seven is trying to battle number one for sixth place. And down he goes. Meanwhile, the free jump are fighting for the lead. And it looks like Aaron Holmes is going to rest. So that will give Derek the play command and we will bring him out to second place. As Aaron Holmes will get the next speed bus. And look at that. Derek the play is going to rest. So that means they will have a two on two on one advantage. And it looks like they're going to hold on easily this time. As number seven takes the next speed bus. And number eight is going to rest and getting left behind in the crowd. You can tell me at one point for Eric Crosby and Alan Holmes. Another great day by Eric Crosby and Alan Holmes. They beat the hip hop trees like crazy. Now that's why, and we'll have something much for you after this. So stay tuned, the fun is just heating up. Alright, Paul. Race number 10. That's why, right, Brandon. It'll feature the Electric City Gamma Tunnel Phones. And Robert Simon taking on Raymond Hill and Amir Jackson. This should be another exciting race here you know, on September Tag Team Action on week 16 of John Racing 2015. Everyone is on clock and please stop the bass. Here we go. Here comes the show. First thing down the line. It looks like Amir Jackson seems like he has the lead. Can he hold on to the lead? We'll find out soon up. Right now, they're approaching the first obstacle of the animal course, and that's the palm trees. And it looks like a Bill Jackson is dancing. And there goes Raymond here with Tyron Phones right on his tail in, in the back. There goes the chow, and it looks like Raymond Hill's going to rest. That will give Tyron Phones command on the lead. As the first superstar gets beat, but it's number eight. And he was trying to catch up in a hurry, and number two possible moment. And right now, number one's getting left behind in the crowd as he heads for the water. Who will get the next speed bus? It's going to be number two, who needs a catching up to do, and he will because Amir Jack is going west. So he's going to be left behind in the crowd. Right now, Tyler Fultz has some company. Raymond is catching up to him, while his partner, Robert Simon, is doing a pretty good job catching up. As we approach the one minute mark, we head back into. Number two, who's now in sixth place over number six and number eight, Amir Jackson. And right now, number eight is getting left behind on the crowd. He needs some serious help from the crowd. But who really got in the next speed bus? It's number one. And he managed to move out a couple of places that time. At back of in front, Tyler Post trying to defend the lead over Raymond Hill. As Amir Jackson will have the next command speed bus, goes in third place. And uh, eight passes one more, so he will still have a lot of catching up to do after that. And look at this, Tyler Phillips is going to rest, as Raymond Hill takes the next speed bus, so he, now he will be in the lead. And Amir Jackson is guarding him with all his might in second place. Tyler Phillips will the next speed bus, but it looks like he'll always settle for second place. Over the pack, Raymond Mill is going to hold on for an easy victory. As number eight takes the next speed bus, you can tell him one point for Raymond Hill and Amir Jackson. Raymond Hill made this race nice and easy, folks. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus. It will be made by number two. That will be his first speed bus of the race. 
Raymond here and Mira Jackson score an easy victory. That's why I will be right back after the break, so don't touch that remote. Alright then. Who do we have next, Paul? Well, Race Number 1 will feature the Gundam Star Master Garrett Dayton and the Harlem Shang Master Efron Kingsley taking on the 2004 World Champion Walter Wilbur Gregson and the 2009 World Champion The Steel Curtain Everyone Knows and Loves Aaron Miller. And don't forget we have our main event featuring the Luck of the Irish and the Girl Getters. But first let's see who will win this one. Good luck to both of these teams and let's rock this place. Alright, awesome buddy. It looks like Walter Moore Gregson is gone, ladies and gentlemen. He is leaving the other competition in the dust. I think he and Aaron Miller will have an easy advantage. As there we go, especially down the line. He is heading towards the bridges like he always does. Can Garrett Dixon or F1 Kingsman catch up to him in time? We'll find out soon enough. As the first superstar I guess beat us is number 8. And look at this. Number 8 has took a shortcut. But I think someone else has took a shortcut as well. Yep, it is F.R. Kingsley who took a shortcut. As the next people we may buy, the steel curtain Aaron Miller. And look at that! Walter Robert Cranston is catching up to them in a hurry. By right now, number two will get the next turn, as he's way behind in the competition right now. But number seven is the real deal who's way behind. He needs to get a lot of people, as I mean now. But who really got the next b as we pass on the Waterman mark? It's the Gundam Star Master, Garrett Dayton. Back up in front, Efron Kingsley and Walter Wilbur Gregson are battling for the lead. The bubble portion on top of the wall, who's going to be in the lead? It looks like Efron Kingsley is the world mess. That means Walter Wilbur Gregson will have command of the lead once again. As the next b we boy made by, number 7. Walter Wilbur Gregson trying to defend the lead this time. And I think he's going to do it for the second time. And the steel cutter and Miller should set away victory as he's getting the next speed bus. Looks like Efron Kingsley won't catch up to Warwick in time. As and Walter Moore Gregson wins. So he and Aaron Miller will earn one point. They're now 4 0 in the hunt for 2016 tag team title. As Garrett Dayton will wipe up the speed bus for the race. So that's a little basis down. That's right. The main event featuring the Luck of the Irish and the Go Givers are coming up. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss this explosive main event. Okay Boston, it's time for week 16's main event, presented by Dunkin' Donuts, our supervising sponsor. And who do we have for this week's main event, Paul? Well, this week's main event will feature our returning champions, Steve Wingman, our Spavis Warrior, and Barry Marchante. They are the look of the Irish. Today they take on Antonio Bennett, the next generation superstar, and his partner Chris Schneider, who represent the Go-Getters. Good luck to both teams on the quest for victory. Let's see who will be 4-0 this week. Please start the race! And there goes Antonio Bennett busting down the line. Great start by the Go-Getters. Can, can the luck of the Irish make a comeback here? We'll find out soon enough. Find out Antonio Bennett is eating food, and it looks like he's dancing. That should give the other channel some catching up to do. And now they'll go to Chris Schneider. And it's part of Antonio Bennett is helping him like doing the impossible. Will the lucky hours survive? We'll find out soon enough. As number 8 wins the opening toss for this week's main event. And number 7 is going to So he will be joining number 2 for Deal Life. These two channel are battling for survival. Looks like number 2 is heading for the water as Rabbit Marchante takes the next turn. And there he goes, flying like crazy. And it looks as though his partner, Steve Wingman, has took a shortcut. I think he's going to assist Van Wanchante to a win. As we head back to the Van Wanchante, he's doing a pretty good job. And right now we're approaching the one minute mark. Antonio Bennett and Chris Schneider were shocked. We might see another upset here. Well, we're at one minute mark. As the next person we may buy, number A, who desperately needs to catch up every now and then. By now, number one leads over the fourth to a chow in fifth place. As they head over to check a flag. And it's back to number eight. And he passes number seven. That's two in the ball, five two in the ball for Ramon Shante and number eight. 
by now number seven is getting left behind as number one can say sorry now I to you of course Super Chow as he takes an XP bus. Back up in front, the go getters are trying to catch up to Steeling back. But I think we're going to see an upset here for a second week in a row. Yep, Steven Wingman's going to hold on. As Family Warren trying to take some XP bus, we'll say the goal getters won't be able to catch up to Steve Wingman in time. The love of the average is your super tag team of the month for the second month in a row. They beat the go getters. Our number fine upset on Chow Amazing 2015. And number one can't forget about being tailgated as he gets the last beat bus. So another upset in Chow Racing 2015. This time, the Lucky the Irish beating the number one overall ranking go getters. That's right, we'll be right back to wrap it all up after the break. So the Lucky the Irish is your tag team on the month for a second straight month. And Steve Wingman has improved to 14 and 2 in his 16 races so far. Great turnaround by Steve Wingman. Well, that's all the time we have for today for Week 16 on Racing 2015. Congratulations to all of our winners and thanks to everyone who participated here on Boston Massachusetts for another epic week. So until then, this is Brandon Channing signing off. Keep on smiling and so on, everybody! This is Paul Sycamore signing off. I'll be back next week to present our tournament challenge qualifying and the best part of our salute to the celebrities. See you next week.